and welcome. I am Civilian, and uh, so the first two times we played this, we failed miserably. So we're gonna try again because we're gonna just never give up on your dreams, kids, even if your dreams are murdering your family members. So we have d what have we done? <laughs> I think we've done the Scarlet Lady and a Crimson. We've definitely done a Crimson Garland. I'm pretty sure we did the Scarlet Lady. So did we? What did we do? Which? I. It's been a few weeks. Okay, hold on. Let me check. Oh my goodness! It's YouTube videoception. What did we do? <laughs> the Scarlet Le Blood will have blood. The I thought about it. I hadn't decided for that video either before I said, oh, we did that one. I thought so, and then I thought, why would I do them out of order? Okay, so we did Blood Will Have Blood. So this time we're going to do uh, The Scarlet Lady. Ha ha ha. Game options, reset the game, full screen, access menu and inventory. Got it. Ma, wait! Dang it! Go on back to bed, Jenny. I'll see you in the morning. It ain't polite to run out while I'm still sleeping. Where are you headed, anyhow? <sighs> I have to go back to the crystal one last time. No, Ma, I thought we were done with that place. We are, sweetheart. Trust me. It's just... Remember the last time we tried to leave town when Bill and his goons came looking for us? Yeah, I remember. That big bully Ernie hurt my arm real bad. This time I gotta make sure that doesn't happen. I gotta make sure we are really finished with that mean old bastard. What are you fixing to do, Ma? I'm fixing to get old Bill out of our lives for good, darling, and ain't nobody going to stop me. I don't know about this, Ma. I got a real bad feeling. Just trust me, everything's gonna be fine. It's not, because I'm gonna fail to kill him. I'll be back at sunrise and we can catch the next ride out of this sorry old dump of a town. I'm sorry kid, I'm probably not going to manage this. I'm really not good at this game. I always think I've got it and then I say something massively incriminating and ruin it. Uh, we'll pick someone who looks like a real sucker. I just want to succeed. It's my pride at stake this time. The scent of whiskey mixed with stale smoke hits you as you enter the crystal saloon. Zeke seems to be tending the bar right, uh, tending the bar as usual, though the place looks pretty dead right now. You don't recognize the stranger playing cards at the nearby table, but isn't that the town preacher, Father Augustine, at the piano? An unexpected sight indeed. One or another of these folks is going to have to take the fall for what you're about to do. First, you just need to search the saloon for some evidence and a murder weapon. Uh, choose two items from the saloon. Oh, this looks like a small one. Hey, it's me, Annie. I am back this time. Josie's cooking up some supper. I could eat. Anyone else around, Zeke? Pearl's upstairs, and Ernie's in the back room. Hmm. Ernie hurt my kid if we could frame Ernie. Sure thing. Let me know if you'll be needing any bottle car. Oh, I need drink. Give me booze. Uh, Father Augustine. Sounds hard to frame. Um, hello, stranger. I'm not interested, thank you. Interested in what, stranger? In whatever you're offering. I have no desire to cause any offence, so I'd rather let you know right off the bat that I don't desire women or liquor. Uh, what, but your accent? English, right? Yeah. The, the, oh, that most blessed plot. That earth, that realm, that England. It's a far sight above this horrid little backwater, I'll tell you that much. There are more rats than there are people in these parts. Ah, to be home again, to feel the soft, wet grass of my fair country beneath my feet. Um, sounds like you're homesick. Homesick does not begin to describe it, my dear. Would that I could return. No matter, I have no desire to lay my burdens upon a good lady such as yourself. Good day to you. Good day, sir. Uh, so, he's a stranger. So, uh, probably we could frame a stranger. That sounds straightforward. Barkeep, I think framing the father would be difficult. We just gotta, we gotta scope it out. Okay, old Bill must be out on the balcony here. We're not gonna talk to him. I have nothing to say to him. Actually, that's a lie. I want to talk to him. <laughs> ah, this is the bedroom I share with my daughter, Jenny. Um, and I want to escape this awful place. Okie dokie. 
This is shared by the girls who work at the saloon full time. Pearl is the only one sleeping here now since the last girl fell sick with one of the diseases of passion. Could find Pearl. She's in the same situation as us, so she's got a motive. Uh, this is the Scarlet Room where the real business takes place. Pearl is humming and daydreaming to herself. What's up? Look who finally shows her face. Happy to see me, Pearl. Was kind of hoping you might have moved on to fairer pastures. pastures. Sure as heck fire ain't no use in you staying around here. Would have been better for the girl, too. Crystal is no place for a sweet little thing like her. Um, uh, let's not fight, Pearl. Yeah, I guess we should. Old Bill's got enough on his plate with wor about worrying about you and me. I'm just itching for a fight, I guess, after the fellow downstairs had the nerve to turn me down. You remember how it is, Annie. A girl's got to work, don't she? Yeah, I remember. It ain't an easy life. It sure ain't, especially in hard times like these. We working girls just got to keep our heads held high. Well, in a manner of speaking. What else do you want? Uh, see you around. I gotta f decide who I'm framing and then talk to everyone about them. Hmm. Uh, let's keep exploring and maybe start looking at items. It's Josie! She's making roast pork poison. Poison. Well, we had a fort. Uh, no, nothing happened. Everyone is exaggerating. I'm getting on fine with him and I would never murder him. I'm trying to not make mistakes. Um, that was, uh, Bill's idea to take Jenny away. Yeah. Yeah, he's, okay. Bill and I have a kid. Could be. Um, let's talk about... I don't know, let's just pick someone. Ernie! Some of the other boys uh, Bill keeps around likes to leer at me, but I can handle them. Ernie, don't think I'm his type. Who is his type? You never seen the way he looks at you? I guess I don't pay him that much attention. Well, it ain't no big secret. If Bill weren't his best friend, I bet Ernie would make his affections known. Oh! Let's frame him. Let's pretend he's in love with me. And therefore wants to murder Bill. That makes sense. There you are, sweetheart. Old Bill was getting I didn't want to talk to you. I bet he was Ernie. Oh, okay, you're Ernie. If your Jenny didn't show up by sundown, I was meant to go out looking for you. Seems that won't be necessary after all. Damn shame. Could use some excitement around here. Um, you hurt my daughter. I know the reason you're, like, chasing me. Okay, let's go all in. <laughs> Let's go for it. Well, there's a couple reasons, actually. Can't deny you're a fine-looking piece of skirt, Annie Bruce. Maybe if you weren't the boss's woman. Nah, ain't no use in speculating. Why speculate? Let's go upstairs. Aw. Oh. He's not going to take the chance. Not that he doesn't appreciate the offer. Anything else, darling? Nope. Nope. I got an angle. <laughs> okay, we're doing this. I need something that looks like your weapon. Do you... Is, is, What's, what's this? Uh, Bill's parties are in the back room. So this is like his room. I uh, don't want to drink any of this swill. Oh, it's a gun. Gun. I can't hide it. A gun among me, can I? Uh, noisy. Um, okay. Let's, uh, do, do gun? Gun. <laughs> gun. Ooh, gun. <laughs> Time to talk to everyone about Ernie and how he wants my butt. Oh, yeah. Old Bill definitely loves me and I don't want to kill him. Yeah. We're going to be fine. Let's talk about Ernie. Okay, Bill trusts Ernie. Good. Let's talk to the father. Father, did you know Ernie is going to murder Bill? Oh, he's Gus. How well do you know Ernie? Tell me about Ernie. I've never seen him at church. Oh, it's because he's a sinner. He's a sinner who's going to murder the guy because he wants to date me. Paul, let's talk about Ernie. Oh no, this is a talk about how they only disagreed once over a girl who used to work here. Ooh, and Ernie had the hot fire too, and they had a fight. Oh, this is perfect. 
I see. Only time I've seen those two have a falling out. Oh. oh, it's perfect. We're gonna do a murder. I need some evidence though. I need evidence of Ernie's feelings for me. Hmm. Okay, this is some kind of money motive. Rival saloon. Been doing business with rivals. I don't care. Ah, he likes to outline verses that support uh, his way of life. That Bible. Mm, no. There's Bill. I don't want to talk to you because you're a dead man and I don't care. We'll have to run pretty quickly away once uh, the gun goes off. Mm. There's a bloody rag there from beating the girls. I don't think we need that. What about this? A pair of boots. Ah, the spare key to my room. Yeah. Yes. I have, I have a plan. It's dinner time. Now let's not say anything incriminating, everyone. We've got, we've got to behave. Don't talk about how you're going to murder Bill. Bill and I, we get on great now. Everything's great. We're best friends. Josie is a fine cook. Yeah. Girl got it from her mother. Uh, nice. <laughs> Any more for you, mister? No, thank you, my dear. The meal was surprisingly delectable. I'm so grateful you invited me to dine here. Well, thank you kindly. You sure got a real highfalutin way of talking, stranger? You one of them travelling theatre folks? <laughs> but you do seem like a highly observant and insightful fellow. I'm afraid you're quite wrong in this case. I am not with the theatre. Oh, I'm just going to stay silent the whole dinner because I just always incriminate myself. I can't, I can't help it. I just, I always say the wrong thing. You working tonight, pal? I could sure... I could sure use one of your evening specials. Sure, Annie, you drop it by any time. Don't wear out too much. I'm hoping to see some other patrons tonight. Say nothing. Keep her in one piece. Uh, do you mind minding the bar? Improvement on the last batch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing. I'm, I'm shutting my face. <laughs> I probably could say something really helpful in this conversation, but I'm just, I'm too scared. I always incriminate myself. Okay. You're going to go take a nap. I'm going to shoot you in the face. Oh, let's go. Okay, this is uh, Ernie's room. So we're going to plant my room key in here. Yes. Yes, I do. Okay. And then we're going to shoot him, and then we're going to flee just into this main room. I don't think we can flee any further. Girl, I need you to be on my side, Josie, because <laughs> if I can make it to my bedroom, that would be good. That might not happen. Okay, let's kill the man. Wait, I need to... Oh, I need to go get the rifle. Oh, I need to... Hold on. I'll be right back. Let me get a gun. best we can do probably is flee into the main room <laughs> and I just don't want to get caught this time I failed at this in two other scenarios come on I know a gun is noisy but I can't think of a better weapon because these are like Ernie's guns from Ernie's room okay let's kill the man ah I have a very easy target his chest explodes in a small fountain of blood and I shoot twice to make him really dead and then uh, I flee. Okay, let's go, 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 go. Three, two, one. I made it out into the main room. Oh, yes! I made it into my room. Yes! <laughs> yes! Amazing work, me. Ernie must have found him. Guess I should go and act all surprised. Yes, let's do that. It's one of the first times I've actually managed to flee the scene of the crime. Fantastic. I was in my room having a nap. All right, you search the saloon. I don't know nothing. 
What's your name, stranger? You can call me Gideon. Okay, maybe we should have framed him, but... Uh, he's... He's... I don't know. He's the obvious target. He must have turned up about an hour before supper, ain't caused no trouble, been sat at the table playing cards by himself, anyone speak to him? Only for him to tell me to go take a hike. Uh, what, what did I say? Me? Uh, I took Jenny across town. Mm, yeah, but, like, nothing unusual. We were arguing about... Uh, I told people we, we were getting on fine and it wasn't that big a deal. Um, but... Uh, I told people it wasn't that big a deal, but I was like trying to downplay it. I was trying to not lie about it. For, I think we weren't arguing is just too much of a lie. So we'll argue about his drunkenness. Yeah. Can't even deny he was a mean drunk. Uh, I heard a bit thump thumping. I stumbled into something. Yes. No, no, I was clumsy. <laughs> that's not a... D look, I could lie about that, but that's not a super suspicious thing for me to lie about, right? Oh, well, yeah. He he heard so much that I don't think we could have lied about that more. I spoke to her, asked her about little Jenny. Um, Bill's temper didn't mean he went in love with her. Yeah. Maybe not. Talked about Annie. Talk about how old Bill always trusted him. Yeah. They were like brothers. Maybe you shouldn't have said that. Uh, you were doing just fine. And... Oh, I was mashing to go through the... Ah, feck. I was just trying to get through the dialogue. It pops up. After... Oh, dear. Oh... Oh, come on. Don't say anything stupid, me. Yeah, feck. I've... I've lashed up. Ugh. You said he had a crush on me. Okay, come on. Let's bring this back. Let's bring this back. All the inconsistent things I said to different people about the fight was a bigger problem than I thought. I think I actually did better in different runs, but... Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna try. Um, yeah. Uh, th wasn't exactly a habit. Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm not very good at this whole thing. Uh, right. Yeah, I remember being a working girl. Didn't mind being a working girl. You said he fell out with Bill over a woman. You said that. You said that because it was Ernie. <sighs> eh? No. Oh, I didn't say anything during the meal. Oh, I'm getting done. I'm getting done for this. Um. Yeah. I was in my room. I was upstairs in my room. Oh, come on. Yeah, that was his collection. I'm definitely... I've really lashed this one up. I think I've done worse than I have in any other run. At least then I keep all my lies consistent. Jeez. 
okay. Yeah, little key in the saddlebags to Annie's bedroom. Uh, yeah, we should admit our love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, just do the verdict. Come on, just, just tell me, just put me in jail. Just look after my daughter when I go to jail. Don't be getting too handsy. Oh, not the stranger. I'm so stressed. Uh, might have been involved, Ernie. Stranger's free to go. I'm going to jail. Annie and I will talk more. Ah, oh, that means I'm done. I lashed up. I should have... I didn't even think about the lies about the fight. I just... And I flicked through some of them by accident with the dialogue. And I just... Yeah, it's... It is, that's it. Yeah. Don't, you don't blame me, but I have to do it. Oh, well. Jenny. Jenny, I'm sorry! Jenny, Mama couldn't kill them for you. <laughs> I tried to kill the bad man, Jenny. I'm sorry, Jenny. He can't hurt you. You're gonna be okay, Jenny. But I'm not. Well. <laughs> I failed again, but we kind of knew that was the way that was going part way through. Uh, man, I gotta get better at this whole murdering thing. <laughs> That's three attempts and three failures, and I do think that was my worst run yet. The main thing that caught me out was me being inconsistent about denying the fight we'd had. Um, I should have picked my angle and stuck to it more, but I didn't really. Um, oh well, we gave it a go. The D Dynasty, three different failures for you to enjoy. Uh, I have been Sibylla, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.